Hello? Yeah, that's better. I can hear my voice now. Yeah, hi guys. <laughs> we just start and Pree says, looks like a white carbuncle and a murder owl. Yeah, you pretty much got the game in one there, Pree. Yeah, welcome folks. This is, once again, whoa, Ori in the Blind Forest. And goodness me, you don't get a moment to rest, do you? I hadn't even said hello to people then. And we're getting attacked by something or other. Uh, right, just let me make sure that the screen, uh, screen, screen and stream are set up. Uh, I won't be going for a long stream today with this because I've already been uh, streaming two times today already. And I've only got until my wife gets back. So this is a bit of a sneaky stream more than anything, but... It's good to get some extra game time in, isn't it? So, right, got to remind myself where we left off. This is the second time I'm playing this game. So, all the map that we've explored is what we did earlier on, before we played Final Fantasy IX. And for those just joining us for the first time, since, again, I know uh, many of you that watch my channel uh, are here for the Final Fantasy, you might not be too familiar with Ori. Ori is a Metroidvania-style game. So it's very addictive. This is a brand new release. This is the sequel to the original Ori game. Uh, this was released just yes, no, just today, in fact. So uh, that's why I'm playing it. I don't normally play other games, but games, you know, that I do tend to get interested in. If I play them myself for half an hour, I think, yeah, may as well fire up the YouTube. And that's pretty much what happened here. Right, so I got a little bit lost earlier on, and that's when we finished the stream. So let's see if we can try and find out where we are and where we need to be. Now, of course, I'm just going to turn the heating down because it's hot. We need to look at the map here. And this will show us the areas we've explored, along with the areas we still need to explore. Hello, Nicole. Hey, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Yes, and to everybody else that's joined us. So this stream won't be busy in terms of other people joining us. That's absolutely fine. I don't expect it to be. Uh, Non-Final Fantasy content never is, because that's the niche that my channel has carved itself into. But hey, we still get to have some good times. So, I can see over here we've got some unexplored part of the map, and over here. Now, ultimately, we need to make our way over to the quest objective, which is in the upper right-hand corner. But how we get there is another matter entirely. I'm thinking we need to drop down this hatch here, which is near the waypoint, but... I don't believe I could do that previously, so maybe we can at this point. Yeah, at the start of the next Final Fantasy IX stream, I am going to be getting the Thousand Needles, uh, Blue Magic, and the Abandoned Beach skill as well. Now, those Spirit Lights that I'm collecting, of which I have 693 right now, allow us to upgrade our abilities. And the ability I'm going to be upgrading first, as per IGN's advice, is the double jump. We can actually upgrade it to triple jump at the cost of 1100. So it's not the cheapest thing to go for right from the get-go. But it is going to help out substantially, as far as I understand. Uh, I have played Dragon Quest XI, Kevin. Yes, it's a fun game. I haven't played the definitive version that's on Switch, but I played the original release that was on PS4. Back in the day. Well, I say back in the day. It wasn't that long ago, was it? Uh, but dear, dear, purple water is not a good idea. You can swim in this game, but it has to be the clear water. So, yeah, the general concept is we go around exploring everywhere, completing quests, and more importantly, upgrading abilities. And by upgrading our abilities and earning new abilities, we can then access areas we couldn't before, allowing us to explore even more parts of the map. So I'm going to assume that later on at some point we're going to be able to smash through this bone. And that will give us access to the area below. In fact, is that what we're trying to do now but can't do is get down here? Nope. There's just a secret down there. So we just can't access it yet. That's fine. Well, I am a big fan of the old turn-based stuff, so I like the fact that Dragon Quest XI, despite being a new game, uh, didn't shy away from the fact it was going for a more traditional combat and gameplay mechanic. Uh, and I really did enjoy that about it, so I wouldn't say it was my favourite Japanese role-playing game of all time. But sure, it's got a lot of content, I'll say that. It's going to take a long time if you haven't played it before. If you're just starting fresh to, you know, see everything. Probably about 100 hours, I'd imagine. 
I have got some content out there on the channel for it somewhere. Um, quite a few videos. I don't think I've finished the playthrough on the channel because I got started to get distracted with Final Fantasy VII Remake stuff. But there's a fair bit on there, if you haven't seen it, that'll give you a good idea as to the game and what have you. Yes, good point, Red Mario. Good point. So we can use this to heal up, even though we've activated this waypoint before. When we get to our next waypoint, we'll be able to teleport between them. So we can just hop back between various different areas that we've already encountered. Now, I really want to go down here. But we don't have stomp at the moment. I think that's what's preventing us from moving on, isn't it? Yes, so I have been here before. And that's why we didn't go any further. Unfortunately, that means that's not where we need to be right now. And it looks like we can access this area we, if we use the switch over here, which I'm pretty sure I already did this, didn't I? Oh, no. No. No, I remember now. Yeah, we have been down here. And we got the secret from down there. Okay, so there's nothing else we need to do in this area then. Uh... I don't think that we need to be down here at all then. I'm trying to think which flipping way we need to go. I know that there's nothing uh, or there's something here that we haven't explored but i can't get up there yet i've already tried um it's got to be over by the start then hasn't it maybe if we make our way right back to the start it's a bit of a journey but there'll be something there that we've missed yeah one of the big things about the ori games is just trying to figure out where you need to go next and it does often mean a lot of backtracking but as you as i say you start to get new abilities and stuff uh yes Cletus. Yes, I did actually complete the Zodiac Age. As a matter of fact, I played pretty much the heck out of that game. We got the Platinum Trophy. It was like a 200 plus video series or something. About 230 videos. We got the Platinum Trophy and did a whole host of extra stuff on top of that as well. So yes, I definitely completed the Zodiac Age, Wes. Right, so I'm just going to make my way right back to the beginning. Uh, which isn't over here. This is a dead end. Yeah, I haven't done the friendly ladybug. Yeah, I have I read Mario. We haven't come across any of the friendly creatures in the next area that we've entered, part of the new continent. So we'll be doing that at some point, I'd imagine, on the next stream, won't we? Yeah, I've got this double jump ability, which is why I'm able to access some of these secret areas. But... Not quite enough to reach everywhere as of yet, but that comes later. Try and avoid the spikes if we can. Okay. Oh. Yeah, enemies are getting quite mean now, it's got to be said. Uh, can we not get up there? I, I know we can because I've been back, but... I think we have to go around a little bit more first. Ah, yes, Vengeance. I'll tell you what, I think this is a first for the channel. Streaming three times in one day. I've just got the itch to play Ori again. No, don't die, don't die, don't die. I don't know where the autosave is. Yeah, I've really got the itch to play this game. I've been looking forward to it for so long. And I was going to stream it a little bit later this evening, but um, as I mentioned earlier, my wife's out tonight. And I'm not going to be able to stream then because I'll be inside having to watch the kids and what have you. Whereas all my streaming setup is in the garage, which is quite a distance from the house. So I can't really leave them. Yeah, we've got to be going back to the start to proceed, I'm sure of it. Uh, but it's cool because we've got a load more of these spirit light things, haven't we? Which means we're getting ever so close to that 1100 mark now. Just explore everywhere. Absolutely, Tsukune. How are you doing, by the way? Uh, oh, we haven't been over here yet, have we? Just checking there's no secret. Nope. I probably already tried that, but it doesn't hurt to try again. Right, let's just see where we are on the map. Okay, just keep moving across. I don't know what this is. 
I think I've tried to see what it is before, but couldn't get there. And right now, I can't get up there either. So, I seem to be missing something or other. Ah, oh, well, thank you very much, Bree. That is very kind of you to say. Uh, okay, I wonder if we can double jump across, or if that's too far. Yes, how long have you got left on Final Fantasy IX, Red? Uh, no. Oh, we can get across from here. I'm such an idiot. Ugh. There we go. We're up. Yeah, because are you going to be completing FF5 before you get onto FF9, are you? Or are you going to be doing both at the same time or something? Because that could get confusing, I guess, couldn't it? Ah! Die! Right, we're at full health. I must remember we've got that new ability as well that regenerates us. Oh, I've not played that, Tsukune. Is that good, is it? Something you'd recommend? I know you was talking about it earlier in stream. Wasn't you? Right, okay. I don't think we've explored this part of the map yet. Yeah, it's been so long since I played that game, Red Mario, that I don't remember it all that well. Okay, so we're still not back where we started the game. We are literally going right back to the very beginning of the game here, but there's that little bit of map that I haven't yet explored, so I'm hoping where we need to go is going to be located there. Well, we've got a signpost here, which has got to be a good sign. <laughs> oh, I'm just full of those jokes. Right, okay. So, I do think... Ooh. Yes, we have not been here yet. This is Lupo. I have not spoken to Lupo yet. Drinking tea with one hand, moving through dialogue with the other. That is some serious skill right there, isn't it? Ah, ha, 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 ha. He's going to give us a map, is he? Oh, I think we can do that. I do want to save up those spirit-like things for the triple jump ability, but... Ah, 50. Now, we don't need to purchase maps because as we explore, we'll naturally encounter the map anyway. But here we go. We've got a whole chunk of extra so we can see where... We can go that we haven't already. Now, it looks like then to get to the quest objective, which is over here. But we're going to need to go this way. Back to the starting area and then over to the right. And that's a big zone there, isn't it? So, we can also see if we can head down here into some of these other grey areas. I'll tell you what, this game is so fun. It's fun because, especially if you like RPGs, as I know many of you do... Of course, uh, like Final Fantasy. Even though it's a very different style of game to that, it has that sense of progression. Because right as, you know, from the get-go, when you first start, you can hardly do anything. But already we're able to explore areas that we couldn't before. Like, we were blocked off by this before. Now we've got this weapon, so we can smash through it. And we can stick to these, I don't know what we want to call them, blue vines? Whatever they are. Ah, is this a new ability or something? Yeah, it's a new spirit shard. Reduce damage taken. Nice. So if we... Oh, I don't know, actually. I don't want to replace any of these. I think I want to keep Reckless for now. Or we... No, I'm going to get rid of Reckless. And we can level it up to take 20% less damage. So, we're going to do a little bit less damage now because I've removed Reckless, but we've put Resilience on instead. So, it seems like the enemies are already hitting fairly hard. Okay, so we've managed to get that secret. Let me just see that on the map. Yep. Apparently, we can go down here, over there, and there's another secret over here as well. They're everywhere in this game. They really are. The problem is we can't go in this pink water, so either we can unlock an ability that allows us to do that later... Or, we drain it or something at some point later on. But right now, that's a new, new. Uh, is that where we came from? Yep. Okay, let's try and head up here, see where this takes us. 
Oh yeah, Final Fantasy 7. Even if there are objectively better Final Fantasy games. Oh, that's a secret over here, is there? Uh, Final Fantasy 7 will always be my favourite. Not only is it the game that got me into Final Fantasy in the first place. Okay, this is the way we need to go, so I won't do that yet. Uh, it's also the game that really changed my views as to what gaming itself could be. You know, we were talking earlier about the various different games we, we all used to play as kids and that and grew up with. And for me, it was the Mega Drive and Sonic the Hedgehog and all of that stuff. So to go from that, and they were wonderful games. I'm still fans of it today. But to go from that to a game like Final Fantasy VII completely redefined the meaning of gaming to me in many ways. Right, there's a yellow orb here. I don't think we're going to be able to get it at the moment. Uh, I don't even know how we get there. Right, these guys are my nemesis. They really are. They kind of charge at you. And I don't have anything to uh, dodge yet apart from jump. But it's not the most timely ability. There we go. We got it. We got it. That's cool. Right, let me just check the map again. Yes, you at the map a lot as you play. Right, there's a secret up here, but there's no way we're going to be able to reach it, is there? Yeah, Final Fantasy IX is a good game as well, isn't it? I know that a few people have mentioned that they're not huge fans of it. I think Basheki says he's not a huge fan of Final Fantasy IX. But overall, I think um, most people find that one not too controversial. Final Fantasy VIII was somewhat controversial. Not so much anymore, I think. A lot of people have um, come on board to that one. Ooh, that wasn't very nice. Collapsing floors in the middle of your game. Oh, yes, yum yum. I've got work to do. But when a game comes out that you've been wanting to play for so flipping long, then sometimes you just have to risk skipping out on work and hopefully oh, no, there we go uh, and hopefully things work out for the best because you get your game fix all right let's do our Tarzan act here swing across okay ink water marsh which is where we've been for the most uh, for the majority of the game so far uh, looks like there's another secret down here just below us. We'll see if we can get that. Grab some tea. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII didn't have the biggest end game, did it? But I'm sure with Final Fantasy VII Remake, there's going to be a lot more to do. So we can pull this out of the way. And what's this? A life thing I can see. Is it one that extends our total life, our maximum life? Or just heals us? Okay, yeah, it's maximum life, but we need to find another one to see the effect of it. Oh, no, please don't, yum yum. She's out at the minute. So I've got to keep an ear out because when she gets back, I'm going to have to come inside and finish the stream then. Uh, okay, we can't go any further now, sadly. Right, later on, I think we can use those projectiles to project ourselves further than we can at the moment. Anything else up here? Nope. Okay, so we're going to make our way now, I think, towards the next quest objective. It's been a while since I played Final Fantasy VI. Yum, yum. I do need to get back to that game at some point because it's a heck of a lot of fun. It really is. Right, how far do we need to go back? Okay, uh, let's just go over here. This whole area we haven't explored yet, but that's because we literally just found the entrance to it, didn't we, a few moments ago. Ah, do you get a lot of optional super bosses in Final Fantasy V, or is it more like Final Fantasy VII where you just get a few?
You do get a fair few NPCs around this game that you didn't really get in the original Ori game. Ori in the Blind Forest. Uh oh. Ooh. Giant owl. No, that's the one that was in the first game, isn't it? I think. Yeah, some people have been saying that Final Fantasy IX is a really short Final Fantasy game. Ah, is this the guy that we can uh, purchase the triple jump from? No, I don't think it is. I'm going to save my points then here. I'm not sure what these are, these abilities. Are these permanent abilities? This is something a little bit different, I think, than the original game. I don't remember a tree like this. Okay, I'm not going to purchase anything yet. Because the tip I read... Uh, what's that? Yeah, the tip I read, I think it was on IGN, says that the first thing you want to purchase is the triple jump ability. Okay, there's a, shri a room, a shrine. That's interesting. Is this a new gameplay feature that's been introduced into this game over the original? I'm going to have to check that out, I think. Uh, let's just keep heading up here for now, though. Ah! Can we get up there? Yes, we can. Okay, right, okay. Before we use that, let's just kill the enemies down here. We need as many shards as we can get. Oh, uh, there's three in Final Fantasy V. I suppose that's technically the same as FF7, if you count Ultimate Weapon as a super boss. He's certainly optional, but mm, he's not that difficult, really, is he? Uh, I don't know what to do here. We can go over to that shrine, even though we haven't purchased any skills. See what it's about, because I really would be interested in finding out. I think it's something new to this game. I hope it's not like a hard challenge or something, because I'll probably suck at it right now. Uh, what have we got over here? Another enemy. Got 800 of those light orbs now, though. So we need 300 more to get the triple jump. I'm not sure if we can buy it from the same guy. Oh, we can't go this way. Oh, it's locked off to us. He told us we could, didn't he? Yeah, this is the only way through. Oh, we could go down here. Could go down there, around and up, maybe. Okay, we can actually put markers on. Interesting. Right, come back here. I want your orbs, if you don't mind. No! Oh, yeah, we got that ability so that they jump to us. Makes collecting them a whole lot easier. Ooh, what's this? Nothing we can use, it seems. Okay, I guess we'll unlock that later. Right then. Yeah, I have actually heard that, Sukune. Uh, what's that we're talking about, pooping? By the way, welcome. Oh, they're permanent. Those abilities are they we're talking about. And we get a thousand to spend if we beat the time limit trial record. Interesting. Interesting. I might have to try that then. Yeah, let's see about that. Uh, first of all, how do I get into the next part of the area? I can't get over there yet. I don't think. There's no way down here because we've got this log. See that log there on the map? That's stopping us from going down that way. And I can't break across over here to the right. So as far as I'm aware, there's no way over to the shrine that I really wanted to try and get to. So we'll leave that. I guess just continue making our way over here. We'll highlight it. Hey, Nico, girl. Have you been playing this, have you? Oh, no. Come on. Get up there. 
Yeah. Okay, right, we got this spring. Ooh, how do I get that? I have no idea, but I feel like this is quite bouncy. But not bouncy enough. Oh, definitely. There's a lot of panic, isn't there? Oh, no, yeah, Nico girl. I couldn't resist that. I, I do love a little bit of Ori here. Oh, no, we did. We got some thrust then, didn't we? Some serious thrust. Yes. Yes, this is my first time today. Ah, oh, didn't get the thrust then. Okay, I'm going to leave that little yellow orb for now. Once we've got extra abilities later on, things like that will be a lot easier to get. Ah. Oh. How the heck do I get up there? I feel like my platforming skills aren't quite as sharp as they ought to be. Okay. I think we need to do a double jump right after we get that thrust at that point. Yeah, I think you'll really enjoy it, Nick. Uh, Prey. Ah! Uh, maybe we just can't reach it yet. The thing is, if we don't get up there, how the heck do we get to the next area? Ah, oh, yeah, fair enough. I think it is out on Steam. Hold up on the pole, and you'll shoot up. Interesting. Okay, let's try it. Yeah, I was shooting up. I couldn't quite figure out how I was doing it. Ah! Thank you. Thank you, Poopin. We might be able to get that yellow. Yellow the fellow. Or just get a spike to the face. Right, we got that. Nice. Now we can get up here. Wow, that's a new move that wasn't in the first game. I'm sure it wasn't. Yeah, thanks for that, Poopin. Oh, yeah, I'll be playing Final Fantasy IX on Friday. Red Mario. Right, what are the Final Fantasy VII Remake Twitter team? Tweeting. Oh, good. No further delays. Just a, just a marketing tweet. Nothing important. Okay. Well, we're across now. I don't think this is the way, though, is it? Over to the main objective, because this area looks like it's all completely blocked off from everywhere else. So just a few secrets and stuff to pick up, maybe. Maybe a new ability that will help us get there. Ooh, not very nice. Come back over the sp off the spikes, please. Die. Oh, no, get out of the danger water. Ah! I'll be back here. Okay, I think I'll bring it over this side if we can. Will it come over? Nope. It wants us to fight it in the danger zone, does it? Right, we got it. Cool. Okay. Uh, and we're still at full health. Oh, hello, Pre. Hey, weren't we just talking a few moments ago? Oh, I'm confused. But that doesn't take a lot for me to be confused. It's probably on Discord, wasn't it? Can we latch onto those? No. Right. Okay. No map available because we're speaking to little Moki here. So we do need to come here. I think. Or is this just a side quest? I don't know. We'll find out. Ah, no. It's a proper cutscene, so this is part of the story. Ah, uh, this is where our little friend fell at the start in the prologue. Hello, Fyral. We're playing a bit of Ori, which was released just today. And it's a fantastic game. I don't know if you played the first one or not. But a very, very addictive platformer. Metrovania style. I.e. 
keep progressing, unlocking further abilities to give you access to secrets and areas that you couldn't access before type thing. Great sense of progression, very addictive. Mm. Yeah, it's the same style of game, I think, Bree. Yeah, that's Koo, Nico Girl. Was Koo in the first game? I honestly can't remember. But look, now we can access the next part. Oh, is there a secret here? Kind of looks like there's a gap there that we could get through. Can anybody else see that? Oh, that looks like a giant eyeball. Is this like an animal or something that we're standing on? Right, okay. I'll get the feeling something big's about to happen. Oh yeah, YouTube notifications suck. They really do suck. Yeah, welcome folks to those just joining us. This isn't a Final Fantasy stream, so... A little bit more intimate. Only a few of us will be here, which is fine. I'm going to be playing this game regardless of whether I'm streaming or not, so I may as well. Yay! We've gained access to the next area. Let's just check the map here. So we can now go down here. Uh, head over to the right for some secret antics, some fun stuff. Still can't go through that bit there, which looks like it would lead somewhere. That sounds like an interesting lunch, Cletus. Ice cream. Oh, Fireball, I tell you what. This game, if you give it a chance, spend some time with it, you won't be able to put it down, I assure you. The addiction factor is real. Not quite lip balm levels, but it is there. Uh, right, I think we can head across back to the left and down now that we've drained the purple fluid. But, yeah, I was just checking there was nothing else hiding around there. It's a statue that we're standing on. Thanks, Yum Yum. I could see it was something. It wasn't just part of the landscape. As in, like, the general natural landscape. Uh, don't go on the spikies. I've got this ability that lets me stick to walls. But sometimes it can be a double-edged sword, so to speak, since you have to jump off it, and if the spike's on the other side... <laughs> right, so this tree is a special tree. These white trees with orbs in them give you permanent new abilities, which means we're about to unlock a brand new ability for Ori here. And there's also a blue orb up there, but I don't know how to get that. Right, anything else around here before we get the tree? Nope, let's tree it up. See what we get access to. Oh, thank you, Yachi's armor. It is always great to have you here. Right, so a new ability called Spirit Arc. It looks like a ranged attack. Okay, so there it is. Uses energy, fires an arrow of light. We'll assign that to our B button since it's the only one we're not using. So can we get that blue orb now with this new ability? Yes, we can. Oh, wow. It gives us whatever this is. We found an energy cell fragment. Collect one more to increase our maximum energy. Nice. So you see how this game works then, guys? You progress through, unlocking new abilities. Which ultimately gives you access to other areas. So we can actually use this platform now, I think, to uh, jump back up. But we don't get much time by the looks of things. No, we don't get much time at all there. Oh, that respawns, so we can never get stuck here, I see. If we use all our energy, we can just replenish it. There we go. Can we arrow this guy? Yes! Take that! Ah! Okay, have some sword action as well. Right, what's this over here? I hear you asking. Well, we're about to find out. <laughs> Sorry about that, Fireball. 
No, we can't get that from here. I wonder how we fire at this thing. Seems to be getting blocked off by something. Oh, no, we got it. We got it. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. Ah, don't. Bloody spikes. Okay, maybe we can do it from over here. Yes. Yes, we got it. And is this one of the ones we can spin on? No, I don't think so. We were spinning on one earlier. How did we do that? Ah! Right, I think this is where we need some serious platforming skills. Oh, there's a blue thing over here. Ah, gotcha. We can bounce off that look. Oh, this is so much fun. I do love these games. Oh, don't love these guys, though. Come on. Oh, duck. That didn't work. Right, dead. Good. Uh, 900 of those orbs. Oh, dear, dear. Oh, my hands are already sweating. Ah, there's a secret over here. How the heck am I supposed to get that? Oh, I can fire my arrows stuck on walls. Nice. I got an eye stone. This curious eye-shaped gem would fit nicely into a stone eye socket. Oh, we found that statue earlier, didn't we? It had like three round holes in it and I couldn't do anything with it. I wonder if that's what one of those uh, stones we just picked up will do. Or three of them. Okay, right. What have we got over here? A bit of blue hair. We can stick to that. And I can see one of those blue orbs that we can fire at. But that's going to take some skill. How the heck do I reach that thing? Oh, we're going slow motion. I see. Very clever. Right, this is where the platforming skills come into their own here. Alright, we'll spin around. Up oh, there we go. Nope, that didn't work. Let's try again. Right, we got it, we got it, we got it. Hopefully that won't shut on us. Nice! I think we need one more of those. Ooh, I think this calls for a celebration of moistened lips. You've been enjoying that, have you, Cletus? Been going down a treat, has it? Okay, right, so. I think we need one more of those, but I don't know where it is. Let me just check the map here. All of this is explored. Uh, the stuff down here, I don't think we can get to it, though, can we? Let's have a look. Just remind myself. Ah! Ah! No! So these were for the eyes. Oh! I said we could go down there, didn't I? I could see there was like a little passageway. Brilliant! We've unlocked the next area. Me want. There we go. So this is Quolox Hollow. Is that an NPC? Yes, it is. It's Twillen. Hello, Twillen. What's Twillen going to be able to do for us? Okay, so we can purchase things. And upgrade things. Right. Ah, we can actually purchase additional energy cells, additional life cells. We could purchase... Oh, these are these spirit shard things that we can equip three of, aren't they? 
10% uh, chance to deal 50% bonus damage. Nice. Triple jump. That's what I want. 2,200? IGN, the lying git, said it was 1,100. I can't believe they just lied blatantly. Well, actually, they're probably playing an earlier build of the game where it was 1,100. Well, I'm still going to probably try and save up for it. Uh, I have played Hollow Knight, yum yum. I did enjoy it. It didn't quite grasp me in the same way that the original Ori game did. I don't think I completed Hollow Knight. But Ori, I did. Okay. Yeah, thanks for that warning, dude. You must have known that boulder dropped down on people's heads as they walked past. I did enjoy Hollow Knight, though, yum yum. It's a while ago when I last played it, but I did enjoy it. I do need to go back and actually complete it completely, though. Well, I'm going to try and use this to get... I think there's a secret area. Up there, can we reach it? I don't think we can. We might have to just go across. Or can we? No, nope, I'm not going to try for it. I can't believe we need a lot of those uh, orbs now, don't we? Whatever they're called. Okay, Red Mario. What, uh, what are you checking out, Free? Oh, do you mean uh, Hollow Knight? Yeah, it's fun. Ah! Not good. Not good at all. Okay, cannot make that jump. I think we need to shoot something at it instead. As soon as we were in the air, I saw the fact that we could shoot at it. Realised, eh, a bit too late now. Uh, right, does that stay open? Nope. Okay, we don't need to shoot that yet. We need to get closer to it first. All right, we'll do it from here. Hey, Philippe, thanks for subbing. I don't know if you're watching the stream or not. Okay, these guys can give us, like, side quests and stuff as well. Oh, there were some really tough sections in the first Ori game, Poopy. From what I've heard, though, from various people that have played this game, it ain't any easier. Yeah, I really want to get here, but I can't. Um, oh, it was over here I wanted to get, but I couldn't. So these are like trials or something. I'm interested in finding out how we do them. Oh, there's another waystone over here, so we can actually teleport around then. Okay, this uh, thing can be hard. Can we fire a thing from here? No, we can't, sadly. Okay, they explode on you. I want to get to that waystone. Right, we've got a lever. I'll give that the tug. And there goes the poison. One of the things I love about these games is that you can play them blind. You don't need a guide or anything. Uh, it is literally a case of just keep exploring and all the answers will reveal themselves. And if an area is too hard or you just cannot find the solution, then it's just a case of going back and seeing what the new abilities you've recently collected will allow you to do that you couldn't do in previous areas before. Like we can't jump up there at the minute, but later on I can guarantee we'll be able to. So for now, we know we have to go down. Hello, John. Welcome back. You doing all right, mate? Uh, oh, we need to fire at that thing. Mm, doesn't seem to do anything, but this one isn't going away, is it? You have to shoot it a few times or something. Oh, I see. We need to drain the water. I understand now. I don't know what we need to do here then because we can't really go any further at this point. Because that water ain't going to do us any good, I assure you. 
Uh, unless we can get over there without dying. I'm not gonna hold my breath on that, I'll be honest. Nope, there's no way we're getting over there. <laughs> hello, hello, Max. You doing alright, mate? Yeah, I was playing this earlier. This is actually the third live stream of the day. Only one stream today has been a Final Fantasy stream. So the other two have been Ori and the Will of the Wisps, which I was playing earlier and thought, i got to stream this thing because I do love it. I do love the first Ori game, and I knew I'd love this as well. Uh, right, I don't think we can go any further here at the moment. I think we'll need to come back later. So we can't go this way. Hey, where was that? I'm confused. Where was the waystone? I really wanted to unlock the waystone. Or whatever they're called. The waypoint. The thing that allows you to teleport between various areas. Oh, well, there's no way up there. That's annoying. Okay, there's got to be something because I can't jump back the way we came. There's no way to get stuck in these games. There's always a way. If you can get somewhere, you can get back out. Okay, and we can just jump across to do that. I suppose we should kill that thing. Before we do anything else. Get the orbs from it. Yeah, I do need to do a little bit of grinding at the minute. We've got to get 2,200 of those light orbs. Have you watched that before, have you? Wes, or would that be the first time? Oh, there's the waystone thing. I can just see it, but I can't reach it. Oh, that's annoying. Can I fire at anything to let me through this door? Or is that a big no-no? I think it's that pink orb there, isn't it? But how the heck do I get to it? All right, remind myself what that one is. Okay, that's just another one of those. I fall down here. Can I do a jump? Nope. Yeah, burn the book. That's what I did with Santarian, you're right. <sighs> I really want to proceed with this bit because there's a waystone there. I don't want to have to leave it and come back later and we're so close to it. But I feel like there's no way to get to it right now. There's got to be something I'm missing. I mean, obviously, there's plenty of other places we can explore that we haven't been to yet. But we're so close to unlocking a new way, uh, teleport location. I'm going to just have one last look before we leave this area. Make our way back up to the top. All right, this guy hasn't got anything useful to tell us. And we've already been over here. And then we collected something over here, was it? An ability? I can't remember. Oh, it was the lever. That's what drained some stuff. Yeah, nothing else to do. Yep, and I'm pretty sure because this gate's got that purple orb there on the top and there's a purple orb underneath us that we need to shoot our arrow or something at it. Uh, but obviously we need to be underneath it to do that. And I can't see any way at the moment to get underneath it. Unfortunately, we can't go any further this way. Unless... I'm such an idiot. Okay. We blasted this eye. This brought this platform down, which allowed us to blast that other eye, didn't it? And that other eye actually lifted up this platform to the left of us. So I think now, if we shoot this eye again, we can move that platform out of the way and then use the other platform that the other eye lifted up. Yeah, I think this could work, guys. I think this could work. I think we want to a winner here. Okay, not the smoothest of uh, 
platforming maneuvers there, but we did it. We did it. We still haven't got access to the waypoint teleport mark, telestoke, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but we are in a new area now. So maybe we'll get to that naturally later on. That's not very nice. Don't kill us after we got all the way over here. Uh-oh. Yeah, got it. Get some health back. Oh, I can actually regenerate. I must remember that. Oh, thank you, Pri. That's very thoughtful of you. Oh, I make it almost impossible. Yeah, blame me for that one. Right, looks like there's a few more eyes we can shoot out here, doesn't it? Right, so let's go up here. Uh, let's kill the baddie. <laughs> Die. There's probably more effective ways of killing that thing, but... Hmm... Oh, that's going to bring the uh, rock over for us, is it? And that'll drop down, I'd imagine. Yep, don't squash me, thank you. Now, what we're supposed to do with this thing? Well, that's another question entirely. Let's uh, start shooting some more eyes out, shall we? Start with this one. And this one. Okay, not that one. Okay, hopefully that one will close again in a minute, because I feel like we've missed something now. I really do feel like we've missed something. I don't know how we close that one. Ah, we need to get Mr. Rocky onto this platform here. The puzzle elements are strong with this one. Uh, but we can't get Rocky up there because there's a, you can't lift them in the air and there's a flipping cliff edge in the way. So I think we need to do something with those eyes over on that side first of all. Uh, jumping on spikes is very rarely part of the puzzle, so just ignore that. Okay, we can make our way back around. Can we close this one? Yeah, I need to learn what this does, first of all. Still don't know. Okay. I think I understand now. Maybe. So I want to move this over here. First of all. Uh, we want to close that. No, Rock, come back. Come back, please. Don't even think about escaping. Shoot that. Try that again. Okay, bring this over here. Yeah, it's all going to make sense in a moment. It's my little plan here. All right, bring that over there. Bring you onto this. Shoot that one. I feel like I'm playing Portal all of a sudden. And there we have it. One rock manoeuvrable onto one platform. Yeah, quite a bit of eye poking required for that, but we did it! We did it. Nice. And looks like another eye we can poke. Okay, that'll give us access to this next area. Don't get a whole lot of time to reach up to there, but it's enough. Okay. Right. This water, not nice. So we do not want to... Uh, Go swimming in it, that's for sure. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, another leave. Is that going to drain the poison? Yes, it is. Well, we're making progress here. Slowly but surely. Okay, let's start heading down, shall we? I just want to check on the map where we are. So 
So this is the part of the map we've just been exploring. I feel like we're moving a long way from my waystone that I really want to activate, but that's cool. Ooh, a lot of health enemies. Uh, those enemies rather have a lot of health. Uh, before we start doing all of that stuff, let's see what's over here. Right, what's this eye for? Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Got right, another lever. Okay, that wasn't optional. We'd have been trapped if we'd not pulled that. Right, birdie. Oh no, these enemies are tough. Ah. Uh, okay, let's heal up. There we go. Get our energy back. I think we need to move pretty prompto here because those things don't last for long. Not long at all. Ah. <sighs> hmm. Okay, that's kind of awkward. Oh, hang on, I'm going to shoot it twice. No, I thought I might be able to shoot it twice to extend the length. Oh dear. Some of these puzzles really get the old synapses flexing, don't they? I feel like I could get that yellow thing though. Oh no, 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 no. Don't do that, that's better. Oh, we got that, that's cool. Uh, Amaruns. Yeah, he's all right, isn't he? He's got his unique play style, like the other characters have. Uh, has he got an ability that does max damage, like Frog Drop? I bet you never thought you'd hear me say that on this stream. Uh, or Thievery. Hmm. Uh, no, she doesn't go on my YouTube, yum yum. At least she says she doesn't, so I'm fairly safe. <laughs> that's what I think right now anyway. I'm sure I'll find out if that's not the case later. Oh man, where the heck are we supposed to go from here? Hmm, interesting. We can actually stay on the frog and be safe. Not the frog, the statue, whatever you want to call it. Ah. Uh. I'm lost. I don't know how to do this. Oh, hang on. Right, heal up. Uh, restore MP from healing. We've done it, we've done it. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. It was just a clever bit of platforming required was all. I did not think we were going to do that, but we did it. I'm happy. Please don't die. Do not let enemy kill you at this stage. And do not run out of MP either, because we need to shoot an eye. Oh, no, 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 no. We got it, we got it, cool. Uh, right, let's see what this one does. No, don't shoot, because I can't reach it from here. Okay, gives us a secret or something. Ah. I don't know if there's a secret over here. I can see there's a blue orb we can get. I feel like I'm just going to end up having to to the same platforming section again if we go over this way, though. I really do. Hmm. I don't know if we've been here. Yeah, this is where we were just at, isn't it? 
I feel like that was a complete waste of time going that way. I really do. Okay, let's see if we can get that skillful platforming back. Nope. Let's try again. Okay, there we go. I think I've got the hang of that now. Oh, the enemies have respawned. All right, let's ignore that one for the time. Bing. What have we got over here? This is right back where we were before, isn't it? Okay, so let's just check the map. Because I feel like we're missing out on stuff here. I've all explored everywhere. I don't feel like we collected enough secrets from this area, to be honest with you. But maybe we did. It said, oh, I know that we dropped the um, liquid, didn't we? Maybe that was all we needed to do. Yeah, I think that was it, because now we can come down here. We've not been here before. Oh, we can't drop down there. Interesting. We have to go the long way. Uh-oh. This could be bad. There we go. Heal up. These guys are really tough, actually. <laughs> Oh, we can drop down there. Get the secret. Uh, these things just explode, don't they, when you get close to them or hit them? Yeah. Have we been here? I'm getting... Yes, we have. Uh, we did drop the liquid down, I'm sure of it. Have we explored everywhere now? Oh, maybe it was over here. Oops. No, we haven't explored down here yet, I'm sure of it. Is that thing dead? Yeah. No, it's still alive, goodness. He's dead now. Uh, thing wanting to kill us, so we want to kill it first. Ah, and there's another one. Evil mosquitoes. Oh, crud. Ah. Oh, back in the same place. That was uh, a little bit unexpected. Okay, yep, just bounce straight into the enemies. Can we even heal up in time? Apparently we can. We need to heal again. And we did. Nice. We're actually still alive. Woo! That was tough. Right, these things are a bit of a pain as well because they have quite a bit of HP. Hello, Cloud. How you doing? Just playing a bit of Ori at the minute. We streamed some Final Fantasy IX earlier. This is the new Ori game that's just been released today. <sighs> They're tricking me again. Giving me areas I can't quite reach at the moment. Can I shoot that fella? Okay, I guess we're going further on down then. There is no way to get to him, what I can see. Oh, what have we got over here? We're getting close to this thing, which I've no idea what that is right now. But I'm sure it's something exciting, which we're soon to find out what. Q. 
can we get that secret? Is that too far of a jump, do you think? Yep, yeah, it is. Right, we're dead. No, we're still alive. We're still alive. Managed to jump back to safety. I get rid of that thing. You just kill yourself. I'll take it. Statue with eyes. Interesting. I feel like that's a door of some kind that we can't yet open. Ah, jump into the spikes, you stupid sprite thing. Okay, activate the pedestal. We got a challenge reward. Oh, oh, I understand. So just reaching these things is actually completing the challenge, is it? And we've done this one. Nice. I mean, we didn't get a huge reward for doing that from what I could see. About 200 points. I need another thousand so that we can unlock triple jump. Oh no, the, I remember these from the first game. These are hard. We need to get it to bash so we can attack its bum. Yeah, as you can see, not the easiest thing to try and do. Or is this the challenge, do you think? I don't know. It said challenge complete, didn't it? Just five our bow at it. Ah! Jump. Jump. They turn so quickly. I wonder if we can get it to jump into the water or something. Oh, it actually paused to some degree then, didn't it? Okay. We need to try and get it stunned somehow, I think. I don't have anything to stun it with at the minute, like slam. Oh, I haven't... I don't really remember Red Mario. I have to uh, remind myself of that. Yes, we can stun him. Okay, I understand now. So we get him to slam into here, and then he's effectively stunned. And then we can kill him quite easily. Okay. Oh, hang on. I had over 1,200 of those things a moment ago. Do I need to activate that pedestal again or something? I lost them. Oh, you lose them and you die. That's annoying. I don't make it easy for you, do up for you at all. I really don't. I feel like there should be a secret here. Oh, of course it's a lever. Ah, and there's that thing I thought was a gate. You'll have to probably remind me, Red Mario, but yeah, we can do it that way. Oh, it sounds like fun, Cloud. I've not played it myself, to be honest. I really want to get this triple jump. It's going to make things so much easier. Just having that extra bit of oomph when you want to go the distance, isn't it? Right, so we're in another area now. We're making some good progress. I've no idea where we're going or where we're supposed to be. Oh, a new ability! Yes! What are we unlocking? Yeah, good point, Red Mario. That's why I've not been using the... Uh, uh, the what do you call it? The 999 thing. We've got Dash! Oh, I used to love this in the original Ori game. Look at this. Oh, it's not quite the same, but it's similar. So this gives us extra dis dunce when you use it properly so look we can jump dash and jump again and just go even further or dash through pain well killer enemies galore around here
Oh, Cletus, you might have to. Ori, in my opinion, is one of the best platforming games in the world. It really is. Right, okay, so can we actually get across to that ledge, do you think, by using our newfound ability? Let's give it a go, shall we? So our double jump and dash, and yes, we can. Double jump, dash. Look at that. Uh, this is one where we can spin up. Let's get to the end so we can go a little bit further, maybe. Yeah, the movement abilities you get in this game give you so much extra potential in where it is you can travel to. Oh, these are hard. Right. Oh, and there's a mosquito with that one as well. Let me just see if there's anything over here. Is that like a secret vine that we can grab hold of? I feel like we can just kill... Uh, yeah, probably kill this guy first. It just killed itself. Right, come here, fella. Right, you stun yourself. Let me get a few attacks off. And again, thank you. Can we kill it this time? Yes. Right, now let's see if we can reach that secret vine over there. Nope, we cannot. There's no way to get that I can see at the moment, anyway. Okay, let's keep moving on then. Are we getting close to that waypoint? We must be. Hmm. No, I think it was up here somewhere, wasn't it? I don't know. I don't remember. Let's just keep moving. Okay, I feel... Oh, secret. I feel like we're just going back now, but that's intended because we only came here to get that ability that we've unlocked. Which is cool. So with all this extra movement stuff now, uh, we can probably go back to previous areas and access places that we couldn't before. Since we've got the dash ability, which allows us to jump further. Just like that. And I think we've got an achievement. Defeat 10 enemies using the environment. Yeah, that dash ability is going to come in really useful. Okay, we couldn't get over here before. I wonder if we can now. Yeah, see you later, Yachi-sama. Oh, yes, Elysian Tower. I've not played that, Cloud, but it is one that I did want to pick up at some point, you know. Right, we've got another secret. I like it. Yeah, it's Metroidvania, they call it, isn't it? Where you go around and collect abilities to power up so you can access areas you couldn't before. Now we've got to make our way back up here. Kill that thing. Can we get the uh, good stuff? Yes, we can. Yes, this is on an Xbox. Unfortunately, Pre, this game isn't available on PS4 at the moment. I might not be for a while, seeing as how Microsoft pretty much paid the development team to create it, I think. Uh, I wonder if we can use our dash ability to reach this little fella that we couldn't before. Yes, we can. Nice. Let's talk to Lupo and see what he's got to say for himself. Uh, purchase a map. No, I'm, oh, I'm not going to because I need to be saving up this triple jump ability. As tempting as it is, I'm not sure how much of the area he would unlock, but he doesn't actually do it practically only on the map, so... We can still reach everything. Although I kind of feel like a map would be useful. Maybe it would give us the full directions to how we get to the quest objective finally. Look at all this exploration we've done. You literally start with no map whatsoever. We've travelled so many places, seen so many things. And yet I still haven't unlocked the waypoint. So maybe we should head back to that. Ah, fair enough, Pre. Do you have a PlayStation, do you, Pre? Or do you only have an Xbox 360, do you mean? As in, like, over all the consoles. Oh, these mosquitoes are my nemesis. 
Especially when there's two of the little critters trying to kill you. Uh-oh. And gonna succeed by the sounds of it. Ah, yes. That was close. Die. All right, there we go. Okay, well, let's try and get back up. I don't know if we can reach the uh, teleport stone yet, because I don't think that was limited by dash. Oh, dear. Oh, okay, Pre. Oh, I'll have to try and remember that one, Red Mario. That sounds interesting with the fire counter. I don't think we can get back up here yet, can we? Even with our new dash ability. Can't imagine there's a way to do so. And we can't break this yet either. Oh, no, we can. We can. Brilliant. Oh, we've just updated our maximum energy to four. From three. I should have got that before. Don't know why I missed it. Yeah, Dust is another one as well that I would like to play at some point. Right, I can see there's parts of the map over on the left-hand side. As I've yet unexplored. And I think we need to be doing a bit of the old dashing. Uh, I can see a fragment up there. Can I reach it? I don't know. I feel like this requires some serious platforming skills. Well, I touched it, but nothing happened. Okay, we'll leave that for now. No! It's locked. I need a lever. Don't have a lever. Hmm. Okay, guys, I've just got the dready text message. The family are home, which means I need to call it a day now. And this will definitely be the final stream of the day. So appreciate everybody that stopped by. Uh, this was Ori and the Will of the Wisps. And I'm going to continue playing this game. Whether I'll continue doing so on stream, I haven't decided yet. But in either case, I'm enjoying it and can't wait to carry on with it. So... Yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day in your various activities. Appreciate everybody that stopped by. Especially for the, like, one or two of you that might have stopped by for all three streams today. That's dedication. Yeah, take care, everyone. And I'll see you on Friday for more Final Fantasy IX. Or if I stream all the way before then, see you for that. Take care.